Hi, I'm Space Godzilla. And I'm Jet Jaguar, and I'd like to talk to you all about diabetes. That's not what, you, what we're here to talk about, Jet Jaguar. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, as I was saying. Yeah, as I was saying. We are going to review Chicken Little, made by Disney. Easily the worst Disney movie I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. And ironically, there's a kid, a pig kid in that movie that ha that I guess has diabetes. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so I guess the movie starts off with, um, uh, the opening theme, which is the only good thing about this movie. And, excuse me if I'm starting to sound like Mr. Enter, but we basically share the same opinion. Yeah, diabetes. That's it. You aren't talking anymore. Oh. Anyway, so they start. So then Chicken Little starts panicking that the sky is falling, and then everyone else starts panicking until his dad shows up and says that it was an acorn that fell off the tree. Now, what I don't think Mr. Hunter got from that was it's supposed to be foreshadowing the events with the aliens because he thinks the sky is falling and the, turns out the sky really is falling. Not saying that it's good irony, but yeah. Then, and um, yeah, I don't think Chuck Cluck, um, what's his name? Um, Buck Cluck is not that bad. He's really bad, but not as bad as Foxy Loxy. I don't know why I hate her so much, but yeah. Anyway, so. They, so he goes in the baseball, and, um, yeah, and the, in the final game, he scores a home run and wins it for them and then a piece of the sky falls into um uh, then at home all alone chicken little gets hit by a piece of the sky and then while his friends come and they find the spaceship in the baseball field they go inside the alien then they just go inside and they see that the aliens fell the out so they run away then they ring the, the emergency bell that's somehow on top of a school and alerts everyone the alien ship disappears yeah huh and they all get blamed then the next day the alien finally shows himself to chicken little and he's like oh it's so cute then the aliens come down and try to kill him and then, Buck gets, has to help his son get the aliens back, and it turns out, they get zapped by the aliens. And, um, then they meet the great and powerful Oz. Blah. And then, Diabetes. Ah! No talking. Then, so, it turns out that the aliens just wanted their baby back, and the reason why they come is for their acorn festival stuff, and that was Chicken Little. Um, let me just tell you guys um, how, why this movie doesn't work. It's way too mean-spirited. They don't even give Chicken Little a chance. And when they do give him a chance, he doesn't make it out on scape. For example. For example. In the beginning of the movie, where the song's playing, he's trying to get to school. When he finally, like, does something right, his pants fall off. Then, another... N never mind. Now, why I hate Foxy Loxy more than Pluck? Buck Cluck. 
well, the last time I saw this movie was a couple years ago, so I might have, I saw it again before this. I kind of thought Buck Club was kind of worse uh, at the beginning, though. But Foxy Loxy doesn't improve at all throughout the movie, and she has to be forcefully improved by the aliens. So there. And do you have anything to say, Jet Jaguar? Yes, and I think. Yes, and I think that. Um, Chick Little's father has diabetes. That's it. I'll give you diabetes. Lol. Ah. Uh. Ow. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. I'll give you diabetes again. That we'll get up close and personal. We'll get up close and personal. Unlike you, I have. Unlike you, I don't have diabetes. So. Yeah. I don't have diabetes like you, so I can fight better. You regret that day. You regret saying that. Oh, we just make up. I have one more hit, though. Ah! Diabetes. That's it. Enough with the diabetes. Fine. I'll just... I'll just go home now. I hate my life. Diabetes. <sighs> he thinks he's such a wolf of Brimley.